Hello everybody and welcome back to Houdini. Today is going to be a very short lesson, but it's pretty important. Today we're going to talk about nulls and how you can use them to make your life easier in Houdini. So, let's say you're in your geometry and you've made a lot of edits to something or you want to control your animation and the values, that's where nulls come in. So let's just make a null so we can dive right in and I can show you all the cool stuff. So a null, you, you'll, you'll usually see it at the end of a creation in a geometry. And you can name it whatever you like. That's up to you. But if you go up here to the edit parameter interface, it will bring up this menu and inside is a bunch of cool things. You can add float vectors, you can add integers, and if you're someone who is very into attribute wrangles and point wrangles, and you do a lot of coding in Houdini, this is really useful for you. Um, you can add your floats in, and you can label them, and you can add a range to them as well. So let's set up a null. And I'm just going to cancel this and detach it. Usually if you are storing a bunch of parameters in a null, it's better to leave it unattached to your object simply so you can move it around. And let's say if you had a huge node tree that went on and on and on and forever, and you just wanted to copy the relative reference of a parameter from your null and store it in whatever node you had connected to your sphere, it's fun to move it around. So you can be down here, let's go down to a mountain. <laughs> let's just create a mountain for fun. Um, and create polygon, and let's say for this mountain node, I wanted to control the octaves from my null. We can do that actually, and it's very fun. <laughs> so go up to edit parameter interface, and let's add an integer, and let's go mountain, mount, Mount octaves. And you can see the label has changed to that. I like to also relay the label, label right down here. And let's say if we wanted to give it a range. We can do that right here. Sometimes you don't have to. Sometimes you want to. Sometimes it's necessary in whatever you're making. So let's do 1 to 10. And we'll click Apply, Accept. As you can see, it's now in our node. And we can crank it up 1 to 10. And you can see the full scale there. And because I've clamped down the scale, you can still go over it, but there you go. Starting your memory. So let's say if we wanted the octaves to be two, we could go down here and copy parameter, go to our mountain node, and paste our relative reference. And as you can see, it changed a bit. And from the null, we can adjust our octaves. And it's as easy as that to use an all in Houdini. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. My name is Kate, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!